Alright, we're going to make sure I'm further. I'm further. Hi, y'all. On Wednesday afternoon. Correction. Thursday morning. It's almost noon, but it's still Thursday morning. So anyway, we're going to do the infamous Williams Wednesday on Thursday. So anyway, working a double today and tomorrow. A couple of 16-hour shifts. And uh, as usual, everybody's running uh, running short on people. It's just the way it kind of is in the business that I work in. Not just the business I work in, but it's definitely not, not as uncommon as you might think. And, uh, yeah, we're just, you know, covering, keeping holes filled, keeping moving along. Got some good news yesterday on some uh, work stuff, so everything's going pretty smooth. And uh, we thought there was going to be this great big gigantic event that was going to stir the pot and cause all kinds of fun. And uh, there's not going to be. I think it's good. Uh, if, you, if you're in Louisiana... You know that uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been talking about um, another company buying them out and how good it was going to be and all this, and a lot of people didn't like it. And uh, if you're one of the ones that didn't like it, well, you're in luck because it's been put on hold again while they're uh, gathering more facts or whatnot. So, um, anyway, that's uh, something people have been talking about here in Louisiana and it's been a big topic and it's all over Facebook and everything like that so I'm not I'm not talking anything out of school it was all over the news yesterday when they announced that they were going to pause things and cancel the the uh, some meetings and stuff like that on the government level and anyway so uh, Williams is Wednesday on Thursday so we've got our uh, modern Williams even though they're not making it anymore, so it's all going to eventually be vintage. But anyway, not the vintage, vintage Williams, but the modern Williams. Nice big old boar brush there, big old mega boar. Got me some uh, aqua velva ice blue there to finish it up. So it is almost a signature shave. But I had used my favorite 1912 the other day, and we're going to use something different we haven't used in a while. Because that's kind of how we roll here with shaving with what was that? and uh, everything so what we did was I noticed I had my pal injecto matic look how that head has got the folded looking stuff and it's got the handle there don't shave with this one very often I don't know why it's good uh, Powell also made an adjustable and I've never shaved with one don't have one never shaved with one and uh, I've used the Schick adjustable and like it the Powell's Seem like they're a uh, love it or hate it type thing. I don't know. Some people seem to really like it and some people don't. So anyway, I'm not going to have to deal with because that meeting was going to be on one of my days off next week and I've been working some and kind of looking forward to my days off next week. Now every time I say that, something happens and I don't have a day off. But anyway, I just committed to uh, helping out a friend of Agent 00 Devin by putting some brakes on a, where is that thing, a terrain or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, disc brakes, ain't no biggie. We'll put those on. No, currently no change on the uh, Expedition. I haven't had time to mess with it. And uh, I got some advice from different people. Patrick, thank you for your advice on getting to that top bolt. I'm going to look at it, but, uh, you know, I don't have a good place to work on that thing and and uh, crawling around under it and trying to, once you even get the thing loose, I haven't seen looking at it. It seems like you're going to have to take stuff loose just to get the starter out. But anyway, I also haven't talked to my shop. I stopped by my shop. Get this. Get this. I stopped by my shop the other day, and I hadn't used them in a while, thankfully, because, uh, you know, it, Costs more than a couple of dollars when you got to go to the shop these days. But they worked for me before. They put a couple of AC compressors on. And right after I got that thing, which has been seven years ago now, right after I got that thing, it uh, the front end had to have all the stuff, the all the uh, uh, ball joints and, and everything, uh, tie rod, and all this stuff had to be replaced. I knew it when I bought it. I, I got it at a good price. But anyway, they did all that work for me. So they've done some work for me. And, uh, but I hadn't had to go in a while. And I saw, I, and they got a sign that says, open 
by appointment only. I mentioned this the other day. But maybe not everybody watches every, every video. So anyway, they got a sign that says open by appointment only. And I haven't called yet to uh, see what they say about fixing that starter for me. So but I'm also wondering, maybe I can get off a little easier if all you got to do is change the Bendix on it. It's spinning, but it's not engaging. So uh, you can hear it whirl and spin, but it's not engaging. So anyway, for guys that like to sit around and talk about their trucks and talk about ar, 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 guy stuff, that's what I shot. Of course, for me, usually when that starts somewhere along the way, conversation always gets around to gunpowder and lead. So, anyway, that's how it goes with where I come from. Actually, one of my cousins in Mississippi, one of my young cousins, a cousin's son, which still makes him a cousin, has been a uh, getting after the coyotes all after the other day. Apparently he raises chickens too and he's, uh, if you'll excuse the oppression, if you got young kids in the room, plug a finger in their ears real quick. You had your warning there. But anyway, that young man is uh, hell on wheels when it comes to bobcats and, and coyotes that get after his chickens. Also catches some really nice catfish out of the Sunflower River over around Anguilla, Mississippi. Yes, it's over around Anguilla, where he is. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, I don't think they ever watch any of the videos over that way, but kudos to the cousins. For helping keep the predators down some. Take some pressure off of the turkeys and that's funny, yeah. Keep his chickens going. Always a good thing. So I always complain about customer service. So I'm going to share a positive customer service experience. So Valentine's Day was uh, whatever day it was. And I took somebody to Olive Garden on Valentine's Day. And I've had generally positive experiences here at this Olive Garden, but for some reason, I hit it just right the other day. I usually get about the same thing. I get the uh, eggplant Parmesan. That's what I ordered this time. And, you know, the unlimited, soup, uh, the unlimited uh, salad and uh, breadsticks which was uh, really, really, really good. Also, good fresh uh, salad and everything. And I got to eat all the tomatoes and black olives, and it was, it was nice. But the young lady that was the waitress, uh, she came to the table soon after we got there and took our drink orders, and she waited around just a little bit while we decided exactly what we wanted. She was attentive, but not overbearing during the meal. And uh, she boxed the leftovers up. Fuzzy did not have any leftovers. Some of the salad and a few red sticks were uh, brought home from my side of the table because I had ordered extra. But uh, other than that, I did not have leftovers. But, uh, you know, some people don't eat everything when they get it. But uh, boxed everything up. I don't normally like the old pay at the table thingy because it always ends up, that little box on the table always ends up giving me sass for some reason. Didn't yesterday. Transaction went through. Heck, the traffic wasn't even as bad as I thought it was going to be down that. Usually traffic's pretty heavy at a Target store there and uh, the Academy Sports is right down the road and uh, it's a, it's a, place where you're coming off one of the interstates to, to get to different places and it's usually really 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 stacked up. Joe's Crab Shack is over there there's the Chili's, there's the big Walmart Sam's Club, all that in that area and 
Rough fact, some people may remember at one time I was doing uh, loss prevention work with uh, Old Navy, and that's in that area also. But anyway, that traffic wasn't even that bad, so it was a really positive thing, and it was all anchored by good customer service. Now, I spent a couple of hours last night doing uh, training. My company has online training modules, and uh, I was doing training on customer service. Uh, my field is uh, heavy, and most people don't think about it. It's it's a it's heavily customer service orientated, especially working working in a, a large office complex. And I so I spent and I was reading through that stuff, and it's like, man, I know places where they need to go and uh, preach this to the masses, so to speak. The principles of good customer service and, and providing good customer service. Look at it. Beautiful shade from the Nepal Jukdomatic. I always get good shades from them. And uh, are they better than a shick? Are they worse than a shick? Razor to razor, blades to blade, right? I don't have any issues. I find these to be fairly mild uh, feeling, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I rank them somewhere around with the uh, maybe the L or something like that in a shick. Some of the, the more newer models, I don't think they have quite as much blade feel. As a uh, definitely not as an E in my book, and uh, I don't think they to me, I don't think they uh, feel as good as a as a G. But do they do a good job? Yeah, I mean, that was a couple of days worth of growth there because I cheated and didn't shave last night before I went to work. Don't tell my boss. And uh, you know, so uh, I don't think maybe that they inject them at it, but it's neat because it's something a little different. You don't see it all over the place. And uh, the old Omega bore with a handle that was turned by Jara. He he turned the wood part of the handle there, and then he took the top off. I think it's a an Omega, maybe it's a ninety or ninety eight Pro, and and he just took the top and he made it the wooden handle to the top there. It's a wonderful brush, wonderful brush. It's Jara one seventy six. Yes, one of my prized possessions right there. So we're going to finish up with a little aqua bevel for the almost signature shave. And then we're going to get dressed and we're going to walk dogs and all that kind of stuff and go put in our first shift of the day, which is not a super valid shift. And I'm covering a post to start with. And then I'll do my regular overnight supervisor shift. Agent 00 Devin's going to come by later and uh, give the doggies a walk so they're not in the house for like, you know, 18 hours or whatever it is. By the time I leave, get to work, get off work, get back, you know, they'll be 17, 18 hours. Williams, that's where is that? I've always been a Williams man, probably always will be a Williams man. I was highly disappointed when they stopped making it. But... These large companies, they're, they're, they're strictly bottom line. And, and yeah, okay, I get it. But let me just ask a question real quick. And I'm going to leave you on this note because I think this is important. So we're paying all these, hold that thought. <coughs> Took a breath at the wrong time. We're paying all these high prices for gas and stuff like that. And all of the major oil companies are making major profits. Does that not seem strange to y'all? Now, capitalist system, you know, market uh, factors, supply, demand. I get it. They should make a profit. Absolutely. I'm, I'm with it. I understand it. And when things happen and, and prices go up, they should make some of that. But should they make record breaking profits? When, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not sure I 100% know the answer to that. But that's what's been going through my mind lately is that, uh, you know, a little bit of a little bit of kickback on some of that money. I mean, I know they got their shareholders and they got to keep their shareholders happy and, and, and uh, you know, research, develop it because uh, all the uh, green stuff, you know, maybe that's what they're using some of that money for to research and develop it. Maybe so. But record profits when, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, you know, that's about it. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.